they really touch on, on certain symptoms, um, which if we don't address, we do that at our own peril. And uh, it, it's, it's very disconcerting to see that, although economics is, is not a perfect science like the natural sciences, but there are certain laws or principles that if you really go smack against them, what do you expect? And, and we've ignored these uh, for political reasons. Now, one would say, but Bruegel is not a political think tank. It's just a think tank, and, and, they, uh, and they don't go. That's not the, it's not their remit. It's our remit now to get that political will in order to achieve um, the, uh, a better economy and, and, and more social, uh, caring um, society, uh, European society. Um, it's, our, it's our job from the political. So, which comes back to your question. Um, our electorate wants to see what's, what's behind, what, what are we going to get back? So it's not a yes or no giving up. You, 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 no, nobody gives up freedoms or sovereignty just in, in a vacuum. You know, you, you want to know what you're going to obtain and you reason it out. If it's better, then you're ready to give up. So it's a question of degree. So I'm just being told we have now four more minutes, which is probably the moment when I open this up to the audience. So if you want to ask a question, please raise your hand and make it a question, keep it short. Um, say whom you're addressing the question to, because we probably don't have time to have everybody answer every single question. Uh, the gentleman over there. Yes, I'm, I'm Joel Darvas from, from Brugge, uh, and I have a question to Vice President Dombrovsky, <coughs> which is related to the point raised by Minister Skikluna and also Guntram Wolf about uh, this asymmetric adjustment within the Eurozone. If I look at the European semester recommendations in the last three years, in uh, 12, 13, and 14, then there was a recommendation for the euro area that a more symmetric adjustment would be desirable. But this recommendation is missing from uh, uh, this year, the European semester recommendation gave for the euro area. So my question is that, first of all, do you think that a more symmetric adjustment would be more desirable? And the second question, if so, uh, then why this recommendation has not been made in the context of the European semester this year? Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, thank you for this uh, question. So, um, uh, several uh, points uh, here. Uh, first, uh, it's uh, something which we uh, outlined also in our uh, communication uh, uh, on uh, uh, completing the EMU on a follow-up of five presidents' reports that we intend to give uh, Euro area recommendations more uh, prominent stance, also advancing them on uh, uh, in time so that the Euro area recommendations can then be uh, reflected uh, uh, also uh, in uh, country-specific recommendations to the Euro area uh, member uh, states. Uh, that is the first uh, 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 observation. Uh, second, uh, on uh, this, um, uh, why uh, it's uh, not done uh, so far, because we will only uh, uh, publish annual growth uh, survey l uh, later this month, and with this we'll start uh, the new uh, European semester where we'll be able to use this uh, new uh, approach. Uh, but then when uh, discussing uh, Euro area fiscal stance or Euro area debt developments, for, uh, for example, uh, it's important to art underline that it's not to meant to un uh, invalidate or undermine stability and growth pact. Uh, member states uh, still have to comply with the stability and growth pact. It's part of the treaty. Uh, so it's more like an analytical tool to see uh, uh, what uh, policy directions we, we should be taking within the stability and growth pact. That's, a, that's an important uh, uh, clarification. And then on this symmetry asymmetry, also if we look, for example, at the macroeconomic imbalances uh, procedure, uh, it's also symmetric. For example, large and sustained current account surpluses are also considered uh, macroeconomic imbalances. That's one, uh, one of the reasons why uh, 
Uh, we also were doing in-depth review uh, to Germany and uh, uh, also recommending them uh, to stimulate the demand side of the economy, to stimulate the investment. Uh, 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 in order not to have such a large and such a sustained uh, current account surplus. Thank you. I, I think Guntram wanted to jump in on this one. Yeah, I just wanted to say uh, two words on uh, on the on the fiscal issue. I, I think first of all, um, this notion that um, we are ready as a union to to sustain transfers cross border, I think is is probably, as you also said, Mr. Schelling, I think is probably wrong. Um, I think ultimately. The, the political support will not be there, and uh, and this will 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 cause more difficulties um, than than it, it solves. Now, having said this, I, I do think that fiscal policy um, is, of course, uh, national fiscal policy will have to play a role and will have to be more bindingly coordinated. And uh, and I I uh, think we need. Um, a binding and a symmetric way of, uh, of, of, uh, of co coordinating that fiscal policy. Now, of course, um, <laughs> when, you, when you say this, uh, the first thing I'm worried about is that um, the Commission sort of um, has started to become uh, a bit laxer with, uh, um, perhaps a bit too lax uh, in some cases with the interpretation of uh, rules for countries that have very high debt levels. Um, but at the same time, of course, um, what we will need is we will need also some form of a binding recommendation that, um, uh, for example, Germany should spend uh, another 20 billion or so or raise, uh, raise its deficit um, to boost uh, investment, investment in Germany to get this, this sort of symmetric adjustment. And so in the, at the moment, I have the feeling that uh, there's so much non-compliance on all sides that the trust to, uh, to move forward the next step is actually, is actually much less there now than it was, uh, was uh, a few years ago. Actually, you're the beginning of your intervention just now um, segs us very nicely to the question I posed in the beginning about the fiscal transfer, transfers that we need. It would be great if we can maybe get the results up again. From what I saw, from what was up earlier, it seems like, um, Mr. Kashimir, you have to do a little bit more convincing at home here because um, the unemployment fund is coming in at a mere 13%. Um, and I don't know, to the Commission, it seems like these uh, limited financial incentives, which was once known as the fiscal capacity or contractual arrangements, are quite popular here. So maybe we'll see some work on that in the near future. Um, 